Hey everyone, so today I am doing a review and swatch video on all of my Lime Crime um, lipsticks that I get off Peg Marine Z. I will leave a link down below to where you can get them. I love these lipsticks. Quick review first. I'm not actually wearing one right now. I'm wearing MAC Cyber. If you want to see a tutorial on this makeup look, I'll link it down below for you. They are all very pigmented, very creamy. The colours are kind of quite unique, like, I'm sure there's dupes out there for them, but they are, like, in their own way, very unique, like, they're all very bright, you'd have to look pretty hard to find a good dupe for them. And I, of course, love the packaging, the little unicorns, purple packaging, favourite packaging of any lipsticks, I think there's a better than YSL packaging, all of it, I just love the packaging. The scent is very similar to MAC, like that kind of pale vanilla kind of scent, I don't think they last ages like they're very creamy so they don't sit on your lips for a really long time but they still do last on my lips you know like two or three hours at a time or until I um, am eating and drinking and all that kind of jazz. Basically I do think they're worth the money. I do think they're an amazing addition to your collection. There are only a couple of colors that are super wearable or like maybe half of them are super wearable. The rest are very out there so if you are you know, really bold and you like to wear different things, this is probably one of the best brands you can go for. And if you're a beginner, there are some shades that are better for you as well. So I'm just going to get onto the swatches now. In between each swatch, I'm going to be applying MAC Pale Lip Arrays just so you can see the true colour. And sorry if my lips look really dry. They get really dry when I do these lip swatch videos because they get quite irritated. So I'm going to sort of go in order from palest to the boldest, darkest ones. So first of all, I said first really with then first of all. I'm going to go with Coquette. This one is super popular. By the way, not tested on animals and they are vegan. So, awesome. Okay, yeah, this one is Coquette. Very popular, very raved about. It's basically like a peachy nude colour. I love peachy nudes. I haven't actually worn this one a lot, but I should because every time I do wear it, I absolutely love it, but I just forget about it and I don't know how. So that is what it looks like there. It is amazing. I love the colour. I think it's the perfect nude for spring and summer. I think it is very similar to MAC Flesh Pot, but it has a bit more oomph to it. It's a bit more lively. It's got that really nice glossy finish, and I am obsessed with it. I love it. They're very comfortable on the lips, very moisturising. Yeah. Next here is Babette, which is super duper popular as well. It's just like Coquette, except it's a lot more pinky. So that's what Babette looks like. Is it Babette? Yes. Babette looks like. Um, just a really pretty pinky nude colour and it's so pretty. It's like the perfect peachy pink and I just feel like a bit of a Barbie when I wear it in a good way. Like I love it. If you love pinks, if you love light pinks, if you love nudes, this is definitely one of those must have shades that you need in your collection. I don't really have anything else like it as well. Like it's pretty unique. It looks like it would be easy to find another one that's like the exact same but at the same time I don't think in my entire collection I have something exactly like this. Closest thing would probably be India by NYX Black Label Lipstick. So if you like that, you probably need this. Next here we have Airborne Unicorn, which is a lilac colour. And it isn't a super pale lilac, it's kind of like mid-tone. So that's what that one looks like. A really good lilac if you're looking for a good lilac and I find this one doesn't make my teeth look as yellow as some of my other ones. This one isn't as bold. It's a lot more wearable. It's a lot more glossy. I love how it looks. I'm pretty obsessed with lilacs at the moment. Um, I know a lot of people hate them but I think it's one of those things that you kind of need in your collection just to give it a go and see how it goes with your skin tone and everything. I just... It's a lot of fun. I don't know. It's so easy to change up your look as well because you can just go with your normal eye look, your normal foundation, your normal blush, and then chuck on this for a bit of a different look and a bit of a bolder look. And it's pretty fun. The next one I have here is really popular. This one here is called Geranium, and it's one of those colours that's like a really blight, 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 bright, bright, bright pink, neon pink. Really fun if you want to get yourselves into like a really bright colour because it's still kind of wearable but it's really 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 bright and in your face at the same time. So that's what it looks like as I say. Very bright but still quite wearable like it's not, it's not scary, it's not 
I don't know how to describe it. It's just glossy. It's just easy to wear. It's just pretty. It's super bright, super in your face, but it doesn't look bad. So I really like it. Next here we have Countessa Fluorescent, which is a fluorescent, kind of like more warm tone pink. I think it's even more wearable than the last one. And I definitely prefer the last one. But if you like more true pinks that aren't like bright, like this is a little bit more dark. Even though it's called fluoro, it's a little bit more dark. So that's what it looks like. This one is definitely a more like opaque kind of formula. It's a little bit less glossy. It's still glossy. It's not matte. It's definitely glossy, but it's a lot more opaque than the other ones. Next here we have Centrifuge, which is a step darker again. A really bright pink, but it's more like, it's more of a muted bright pink. It's definitely darker and very intense. So that's what that one there looks like. Definitely a good like darker bright pink to wear out on the town, um, a night out with your girlfriends, that kind of thing. It's probably a bit too much for daytime for most people, unless you want to then go for it. That's cool, but it definitely suits more of like a smoky iPhone evening wear. This one here is called Poison Berry, and the name is such a good name because it does look like a toxic berry color that you'd find in the forest or something like that. Like it looks dangerous. It's so cool. That's what it looks like. It's a little bit more sheer on the lips, but it's again one of those more like out there colours. So if you're a bolder kind of girl and you like to, you know, be noticed and step outside of the normal person's comfort zone, like this is for you. It's very intense. It is purple, but it's not so purple that it makes your teeth look bright yellow. It's still got a hint of that kind of berry pinky colour in it. So yeah, it's actually a lot more wearable than you would expect. The last one shocking and I did a tutorial using this so I'll link it down below but it is called Stiletto and it is black so obviously not for everyday wear unless that's your kind of thing but perfect for like Halloween or special events and stuff like that or if you want to experiment then perfect. And that's what it looks like. Black super dramatic, super kind of hard to wear. Um, I feel very, I don't know, like the attention is right here, of course. But as they say, perfect to experiment with. I had a lot of fun creating the video that I did with this tutorial, link down below as I said. And for Halloween, like if you're gonna be a cat or something, like it's so cool and something so different and something so shocking, but it still doesn't look ugly. Like it still looks really cool, it's just, intense you know so that is everything i hope you guys have an amazing day please thumbs up if you enjoy my swatch videos these are a bit of a pain to film but i know how helpful they must be so i'll continue to do them and please leave your recommendations on what kind of um lip products you'd like to see me ne see me swatch next Blech. i'll leave all of the swatch videos i've already done down below i've done nyx i've done mac i've done what else have i done i'll leave them all down below so you can see and i'll talk to you soon Bye. And then I'm going to take that same purple underneath the lashes. And now I'm going to take my Dream Matte Powder, although my skin probably won't actually end up being matte because I'll put on a little bit of a highlight, but I really like this.